Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and this is the Beginner to Pro Guide, Part 39. In this video, we're going to be covering a bunch of stuff like the Dragon Spectacular event. There's that maze that's going on right now, and we also have the Magic Runner race that's happening as well. Here we've got a couple different quests to do, and we're going to do our best to crush it here today. When it comes to getting these flight stamps, here we have to collect food, hatch eggs, and I already collected that gold. So let's get this going. We want to collect some food and hatch some eggs. Here, if we check it out, we've got a decent amount of food waiting for us. Beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that. And we, of course, we can collect that gold as well. I already checked in earlier today to collect a little bit of gold, and we've got some left over, so we're going to collect all of that, and that's going to give us those maze coins as well. Awesome. So here we're making tons of progress, and we've started clearing the caged dragons. Here we cleared that one, we cleared, oh, we built that, hello, Patang baby. Here, we just got our level up to level 36, y'all queen, and that level up gave us two free gems. I love it. Here we have the new element, uh, I don't know what that element is, oh the soul element. Here we've got the new primal element and we're going to be able to get those beautiful dark crystals now. Ooh, I love this, oh yeah. So that's looking absolutely fabulous, let's keep this going. Here we've got an offer right now, but for now I'm just going to skip that and lose that offer, no biggie. And yes, I am enjoying Dragon City, thank you very much. I'll rate it later, thank you. So we just got that level up to level 36 and I'm super stoked. We're going to collect that gold there and keep this going. So I was talking about how we've been clearing some of the caged dragons. Here you can see I've been clearing those dragons slowly but surely and we're making some space for our future expansions. Yesterday there was an expansion event. So um, maybe I got this little centerpiece here for a little bit of a rebate, so that's awesome. And we're going to continue building. I'm really excited here. Here we've got a bunch of stuff going on, and I also want to grow some quick food. Lately, I've been growing the rainbow leaves, that three-hour food, and just right now, since we need to grow food, I'm going to get those blueberry bushels. Uh, blue bell bouquet, sorry, blueberry bushels. Oops, wrong one. So we're getting the 32nd food, lol. Oh yeah, let's get this going. Here we go. So here we're gonna scroll on down. Blue Bell, bu uh, Blue Bell Bouquet. Try saying that three times fast. Okay, there we go, beautiful. So here we're gonna get some food going, try to get some more flight stamps, and then we're gonna try to get some rewards. We've also got a couple battles that we can play. So once we finish growing this food, we're gonna go check out our quest battles. When it comes to battles, I think my favorite are the quest battles, then the arena battles, and then the league battles. But yesterday, I actually live streamed on my main channel, um, Dragon City. So we discovered some nice stuff. I gotta, I gotta say a big shout out to my girl L. Thank you for teaching me how to swap dragons. That was a huge game changer. Now, when it comes to this game, it, you know, for me, if I can refer it to a previous game I've played, it's like Pokemon, but not exactly the same. Um, you know, in Pokemon, I don't know if you've ever played, but when you play Pokemon and you swap a dragon, you kind of like lose your move. So here, when you swap a dragon, you don't lose the move. And I'm about to show you what that's all about, because it's a game changer. Thank you, Elle, and thank you to everybody that joined me for the live streams yesterday and the day before. It was a lot of fun, and this has been an awesome weekend. Today is Monday, and we're going to keep this fun going. Quest battle time. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. So right now we've got three special quest battles. We're going to start with the first one, the spectacular quest. Oh, yeah. And this is going to go pretty well. All those dragons are level seven, so we've got this. So here, yeah, we've got a good chance. Now, just to give a quick example, here we can switch this dragon for any other dragon and we don't lose our attack. So it's really, really cool. Um, if you haven't been swapping your dragons, start practicing now because I my mind was blown yesterday. So we're gonna keep this going, we're gonna keep on crushing it and we are gonna have ourselves an amazing day, oh yeah. Victory, so that started off well. 
awesome. Ooh, and we just got the projectile dragon. Oh, no way. Hey, if ever you have some time today, play those spectacular quests. Awesome. Next, we're going to go to the flight stamp quest so we can get some more flight stamps. This is an awesome way to get those flight stamps relatively easy. And here we're going to go ahead, flood their basement. Beautiful, darling. Next, we're going to use tumbleweed. Love it. And let's keep this going. Oh, yeah. We're going to use our strongest move here, tumbleweed. And another victory. That's what I'm talking about. We're off to a great start today. Next, we're going to the ticket booth. Let's punch that ticket and sign up for the show. Or show up to the show. <laughs> Beautiful. So here, our strongest move isn't available. We're going to use our next strongest move, headbutt. Awesome. So that's going great there. Here we can go ahead and use our flooding move. Beautiful. And tumbleweed, we got this. Patang, baby. Oh, yeah. So then we just got that victory looking good. And when, when it comes to the other quest battles, right now, I don't have the dragon that... Uh, is needed to meet the requirements. So like here I need an ice and flame dragon. Here I need a magician dragon. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep this going. Can we play this? Oh, we can play this right now. Let's do it. Here, we're going for another spectacular quest. Oh yeah. Beautiful. So like here, if we want to, we can go ahead and swap that dragon. No problem at all. Looking good. Oh, yeah. So here, this is going great. We're going to keep this going. Try to get that victory. I have a good feeling about it. Ooh, looking good. And Petang, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Another victory. Woo! We just won the spectacular quest. I'll claim that. And we just got the clown dragon. Awesome. I'll take it. Beautiful. So here, that's looking great. And we're going to keep this going. So one of the questions that I got asked was, how do you breed ice and flame? When it comes to breeding ice and flame, technically you can't breed flame and ice together. Unfortunately, right now, I'm not able to make an example shubades. Let's go ahead, hatch that storm dragon egg. Get this right over here. Putang, there we go. Now we're hatching eggs. Beautiful. We just got the new storm dragon. Oh, yeah. Looking good. And a bunch of maze coins. I love it. Here we have another egg that we can go ahead and hatch. The lanternfish dragon. Rock on. Loving that as well. Oh, yeah. And we hatched another egg. Love it. <clears throat> so that's going great. Oh, here we leveled up our dark habitat so we can go ahead and get that experience as well. Get that gold. Looking good. Okay, so things are going really good right now. Here, oh, we collected the food. We're going to regrow all of our food. Awesome. And here, let's go to the tree of life real quick. We've got an exclamation mark in a red circle. So we're going to go to the shop. Now, here when it comes to the shop, if ever you have an amazing amount of gems, which is not the case for me, you can get orbs with gems. Now, in this account, I'm still air quotes in beginner mode, so I'm not going to really buy orbs with gems yet. Maybe in the future. We'll see where the wind blows. But one thing that's really cool is once you start getting a decent amount of gold, you can purchase orbs. Oh, excuse me. You can purchase orbs with gold. So that is really cool. Here, I'm digging the Black Knight Dragon. I'm digging the Amethyst Dragon. So I'm going to go ahead purchase a couple of those orbs. They are pricey in the beginning, but it, you know, once you get a little bit further, it has a pretty good value. Beautiful. So here we're going to keep that going. We're going to get all that food and we're going to regrow that food for now. Awesome. And let's see, let's keep this going. So here, one thing that's going on today, which is really cool, is for the next 20 hours and 40 minutes, we have a discount on the ultra breeding tree. Now, I've mentioned this in previous videos. I think this happens like every other month, so like every two months. So here, we can get a 50% rebate on the breeding tree, the ultra breeding tree. Normally, it's 100 gems, and right now, it's at a rebated price of 50 gems. I have 48 gems, so I really want to get some extra gems. You know what I mean? Here, we've got the dark crystal, and I totally want to build that. So let's go ahead and build our first dark crystal. We can replace that and reorganize everything later on. So that looks like a great spot for now. Awesome. 
Here we can collect a little bit of food, see if we can get some progress and get some more of those flight stamps. Okay, I don't know. Did that work? Let's see. Here, ooh, we're almost done collecting the food. We're at 10 out of 11. Okay, so we're doing good there. Here, I'm just going to collect another round of food, and we have to we have to hatch some more dragon eggs. That might take a little bit more time. Let's try something here. So here if we go to our hatchery, let's try hatching some terra dragons. Now, terra dragons, they're pretty easy to get relatively, and um you know, you have to hatch a lot of the terra eggs for them to count towards the goal of hatching eggs. Oh yeah. And there we just collected enough food to get that point for the flight stamp. So I'm going to go back to growing the rainbow leaves. Oh yeah. So here, that's looking great. Rainbow leaves. We're going to keep growing those rainbow leaves. Those are really like my go-to. I know they're a little expensive, but I find they have good value. And three hours, 18,000 plus experience, and you get a pretty decent amount of food. Of course, when you get further, you might want to use the other food, but I like the fact that if ever we need to collect food for quest, that it only takes three hours. If you put the 24-hour food, then you might get stuck if ever you need to do a quest where it requires you to collect food. So here, we're going to keep this going. We're going to grow a little bit of food. Ooh, lush blooms. I mean, uh, rainbow leaves. Beautiful. So that's going great here. Um, well, you know how to grow rainbow leaves, so I'll do that in a second. Let's go back to the magic runner race. Here, this is like the runner race, air quotes, and we have this uh, mini event that repeats every now and then. Right now I have 91 of the flight stamps you can see in the top left corner, and we're going to try to get some more pinwheels. If we could manage to maybe get the next five rewards, we've got free gems waiting for us. All we have to do is invest a little bit of hard work. And I'm going for it. Let's do this. Here we're going to go ahead and do our best to collect as many pinwheels as possible. Let's do this. So this is definitely difficult. Now, I started playing this game about three months ago, so I've had a little bit of practice. But in the beginning, I'll be honest, I was not good at this. So just give yourself that time to learn how it works. It's normal. You're probably going to crash into a couple things. Don't worry about it. Just do your best and always try improving your personal best. If the first time you only get 30 pinwheels, well, that's great. Next time, try to get 40 and always try improving your personal best. That's really what you're going to need to do to keep getting better at this. Awesome. So here we're doing really good so far. I'm trying to get the pinwheels. I've missed a couple, but I'm staying alive and we're crushing it. Oh, yeah. Every time you go past the rainbow, it gets a little bit faster. Let's see. Here you've got items you can jump over. Come on, staying alive. Let's do this. And when it gets faster, I just try to avoid a couple things because I just want to stay alive. Come on, big jump, big jump. Oh, yeah. There we go. Jump. Okay, here we're going to jump there. Big jump, big jump. Oh, we're still alive. Okay, go down. Oh, shuba days. Okay. Well, that was an amazing run. Even though I crashed into something, I still got 105 pinwheels and I'm stoked. Oh, yeah. So here we're going to keep this going. Beautiful. And we're going to claim all of those rewards. Let's do it. Here, we just got the ticket chest, so we're going to get one to five of the tickets. Big money, big money, and we got one ticket. I'll take it. Here, we want to keep this going. We've got the Hypno Dragon, and that's my next goal. I want to get that dragon. So we're going to give this another run here. Let's go get those pinwheels. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So here, things are looking good. We're off to a slow start, and it's going to speed up. So we're just getting in the rhythm of things getting our groove going on, and trying to get those rewards. Here, I'm going to go for the food and try to avoid the things, that more, the things that are more difficult. So like here, pinwheels. Okay, up, up. Oh, that was crazy difficult. Okay, here we go. We've got this. There we go. Up, up. Ooh, trickiness. So see, I've been playing a lot. I'm getting a little bit better than I used to be. Ah, uh, there we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Avoid the food. Get the pinwheels if you need to. That's looking great. Here, we're going to go down, down, jump. Oh, I didn't jump fast enough. Okay. No biggie, though. That's all good. Here, you know, you can revive that dragon, but I just like to keep going with it. One thing at a time. 
Here, we're at a total of 480 pinwheels, and we're so close to getting the Hypno Dragon. Let's keep this going. Oh, yeah. Woo. Beautiful there. Here, we've got this. Awesome. Things are looking good. Here, we're going to keep that going. Get those pinwheels. So, you can avoid the gold. You can avoid the food. Don't worry about the orbs. Really focus on the pinwheels. Once you get better, you're going to be able to spread yourself out a little bit more. But in the beginning, you really want to focus on those pinwheels so you can get the rewards. Beautiful. So a little bit of gold. Pinwheel, 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 pinwheel. Up, up. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Down, up, down, up, up. Okay, and then I'm going down for the pinwheels. Forget the food there. I want those pinwheels. And then here, this is a little tricky, so I'm just going to try. Oh, I didn't jump far enough. Oops. Okay. No biggie. It's okay. We still got 71 pinwheels, and I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. And we got the Hypno Dragon. Woo! Super cool. I'm super stoked to have this new dragon. Rock on. Let's keep this party going. So here we've got some more runs to go and I just want to get those gems. That's really my main focus here. So let's keep this moving. Try to get those pinwheels, baby. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Looking good here. We're going to get that orb. We're going to get those orbs. Keep that going. And I'm being a little bit risky here. Let's see. Okay, there we go. And back to the pinwheels. So now it's going a little bit faster. Jump that rock. Here, we're going there. We're going to go there. Get the gold. Get the pinwheels. Beautiful. Now it's going a little bit faster. Okay, there we go. Looking good. Okay. Come on, baby. Big money, big money. Let's get those pinwheels. So this is a tricky little area. And oh, I didn't jump far enough. Okay, this is so hard. Ay, ay, ay. But we still got 71 pinwheels, and that's what it's all about. I got progress, baby. Oh, yeah. And we just got 300 mace coins. I'll take it. Awesome. So here, this is going great, and we're going to keep this going. Let's go get those pinwheels. Awesome there. And I'm just going to go, you know, specifically for the pinwheels. Here we've got tokens for our habitats. Of course, those are useful, but I'd rather stay alive and get more pinwheels. Let's see. There we go. Here we go. Beautiful. And here, just stay up top. Jump those rocks. Jump those rocks. Can we get that? Oh, I meant to go up, but I accidentally went down. Anyways, no biggie. Get those pinwheels. Stay focused. We've got this. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So here we've got that. Uh-oh, here comes that hard part. Jump, 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 jump. Yes! Oh, we're still alive. Yes, baby. Here we go. Okay, so up, up. Get those pinwheels. Go to the middle. Stay alive. Jump. Jump. Up. Uh, can we get a pinwheel there? Oh, jump, 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 Okay. Whoops-a-daisies. shoop a -daisies. Here, we almost did this there. We did pretty good. We got 98 pinwheels, which is actually amazing. I got a little bit of the onomatopoeia near the end there, but it's all good here. Big money, big money. Let's get that food, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, 1,346,000 food. That is so good. Woo. Awesome. And we're so close to getting those gems. Let's do this. Okay. We've got this here. Stay focused. Get that focus again. Find your namaste. Let's crush this. Oh, yeah. By the way, happy spring, everybody. I know spring um, started this weekend. So I hope everybody's enjoying spring. I'm super excited. You know, it's been a long winter where I live. So I'm really, exci really excited to see the spring. Oh, but it is. And I just crashed into that. Ooh. Okay, I was thinking about sunshine there. Got a little distracted. I only got 26 pinwheels. That's okay. It's still progress. This time, I'm going to stop talking about spring. And we're going to get our focus on. Let's get those pinwheels. So here, forget the food. Get the pinwheel. Okay. Pinwheels. Let's do this. Here, we've got those primal tokens. I'll take it. Beautiful. Stay focused. We've got this. So here, pinwheels, pinwheels. Uh, go down. Go here. Go up. Get that pinwheel. Okay, we're staying alive. Beautiful. Pinwheel, pinwheel, pinwheel. 
Oh yeah, beautiful. So that's looking great there. Here we've got this. Yeah, looking good. And we're still alive there. Get those pinwheels. And here we're just going to try to stay alive. Come on, stay alive. Yes! Hey, we did it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, beautiful. Pinwheels, stay alive. Here we go. We got this. Okay, here, pinwheels, come on. We got this. Let's go. Here, there we go. Stay alive. Staying alive. We've got this. We've got this. Just stay alive, baby. Get some, get some pinwheels, stay alive, jump. Okay, jump. Okay, here, big jump, big up, 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 oh, baby, no way, did we just do that? Oh my God, we're still alive. Ah! Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, we got 108 pinwheels, and as you heard in my voice, I was really excited, and I still am excited about that. Patang, baby! Woo! Get those fireworks, because this is a dragon spectacular. We just got... 10 free gems. Oh, yeah. Beauts McGee. So what I'm going to be spending those gems on is I'm going to get my ultra breeding tree. Now, I'm actually going to make that in another video, but I just want to show you this is so worth it. It happens about every two months so far that I've noticed. This may be subject to change, but it's uh, really, really worth it. And here we're going to be able to breed more dragons, which is going to be a great benefit. Uh, be it's going to be greatly beneficial to our game. <laughs> Woo, where'd my vocabulary go? Okay, back to business. Here, we're getting some Terra eggs, and we don't even have space for those, so uh-oh, not my best choice. We're just going to put those in the dragon Dragonarium, and we didn't even get um, hatching egg symbols there. So here, eh, our habitats are all full. Okay, a little bit tricky there. So here, I want to hatch some more eggs. How are we going to do this? You know what? I think I'm going to put some more rare eggs here. Hmm, <clears throat> excuse me. What do I want to get? Maybe the sea dragon? Maybe we could use a couple sea dragons. Let's do this. Perfect. So here, I'm pretty sure I have enough space for those sea dragons, or at least I hope I do. Uh-oh. Okay. So we've got a little bit of an issue here. I don't have enough space. I'm going to go to my Tree of Life, and I'm going to recall my level one sea dragons. Uh, okay, perfect. So here, oh, we don't even have any level one sea dragons. Well, you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know I got a bunch of the level one cloud dragons. Uh, I'm going to recall one. Wait, no, that's going to take long. Okay, I'm not going to call. I'm not going to recall that dragon there. I'm going to recall this level six sea dragon. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. That won't take too long there, so we're good to go. Beautiful. Here, we're going to go ahead, hatch that sea dragon egg. Awesome. And here, we're going to hatch another sea dragon egg. Aye, and we still haven't gotten any of those symbols for this. Tricky. We're only at two out of five here. So let's see. So here, I'm going to do a little something. I'm actually going to pause the video. I'm going to go make a video about the ultra breeding tree, and then I'm going to come back to this video. So here, let's go ahead. I'm going to get the electric dragon. That takes 30 minutes to hatch, and we'll see if this gives us a hatching point there. Beautiful. Oh, there I got the nature dragon. Only 20 minutes. That's fine. Whoops. And here, yeah, we've... We've got a little bit more time left. So here, I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to be right back in a little bit of a flash. Here, we recalled the sea dragon. And when you recall a sea dragon, here, if you saw, that just gave us 50 of the sea dragon orbs, which is awesome. Here, those orbs, we're going to be able to use those orbs to either empower the dragon, so give it another star, or we're going to be able to summon a dragon. Now, when it comes to the sea dragon, I can get that with gold. I'm not going to summon a sea dragon, but when it comes to the rideable dragon, for example, that we got with the runner events, I want to summon a rideable dragon. I don't know if I have a rideable dragon here. Let's check this out real quick. Um, <laughs> I, you know me, I just keep on gaming sometimes. So here, we don't have the rideable dragon yet. Oh, that's perfect. So here, let's see. 
let's get that dragon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go summon, and here you can see I have 386 of the rideable dragon orbs, and we're going to summon that cutie patootie right there. Perfect. Here we've got extra rideable dragon orbs. So in theory, I don't want to summon a bunch of this dragon. Once I summon one, one is enough. I'm going to use the rest of those orbs to empower my rideable dragon, and we'll be seeing that in a video in the future. For now, I'm actually going to pause this video. I'm going to make the video about the ultra breeding tree, and I'm probably going to watch this ad so that eventually in a couple days I can get those 15 free gems. So I'll be right back in like 20, 30 minutes. And we're back. Here, we've been hatching a couple eggs. We've got a couple things going on. I paused the video so that we could make the little video for the ultra breeding tree. Now, I just got this for a discounted price of 50 gems instead of 100 gems, and this happens about every two months, as I said. So here, we've got the ultra breeding tree. It's in construction. It's gonna take three hours to build, and I also watched a couple ads so that our dragons would be done breeding. Oh, yeah. So here, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that. I also had enough time to get these eggs hatched, so we're going to go ahead and hatch this electric dragon egg. Yes, there we go. We got a hatch there. Beautiful. And then here we're going to go ahead and hatch this nature dragon egg. Yas queen. So there we got one hatch. So that means we're three out of five for getting these next flight stamps here. So we've got some work to do, but we've got this. Here I'm going to go ahead and get some gold. Buttes McGee looking good there. And we're gonna get a little bit of gold there. And what to do next? Here, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna hatch that dragon. It's the Aztec dragon. So it's only gonna take two minutes there. And I believe the same thing over here. Now, if you remember from my quest battles, I was currently stuck for getting one of the ice and flame dragons. So when it comes to making an ice and flame dragon, this is going to be a little difficult because you can't breed ice and flame. Let's talk about it. Here we're going to go to our breeding mountain and we want to choose flame and ice. So I think we saw this in a previous video, but I'm still going to cover it from the beginning here. So if you want to build a flame, uh, if you want to breed a flame and ice dragon, it gets tricky. You can't breed ice and flame. I don't know why, but it is that way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to breed a hybrid dragon. So what that means is we're going to take a dragon that has a flame element and a something else element. And I'm calling that a hybrid dragon. So here we're going to breed ice, water, and flame. The possible results for this are going to be a bunch of cool new dragons. Here we can get the ice and fire dragon, which is great. That has flame and ice elements, just what we want. Here we can get the cool fire dragon, which also has ice and flame elements. Here we can get the soccer dragon, which also has ice and flame elements. Then we have the ice cube dragon. Now, since we're using a hybrid of flame and water, this doesn't have a flame element. It has a water and ice element. So that's not going to be the dragon that we're looking for for the battle, but at least we're getting some cool dragons here. And no matter what, it should be a new dragon. Here we've got ice and water for the Viking dragon, ice and water for the iceberg dragon, and then last but not least, ice and water for the ice cream dragon. So let's go ahead. And I don't think I have any of these dragons yet. So no matter what, it's going to be new. Let's go. Oh yeah. So here we're gonna have to wait eight hours and 59 minutes, basically nine hours to see what dragon we get. And I'm super excited. I hope it's an ice and flame dragon. Here when it comes to our breeding sanctuary, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna breed fire and ice. Since we can't breed those two together, we're gonna use a hybrid dragon. So here I was feeling that. Let's go ice and flame and water with the cloud dragon. So here we've got ice on one side and then fire and water or fire and sea on the other side. So that's going to give us the same selection of dragons we got earlier and let's breed. Oh yeah. Here we've got another nine hour dragon. I don't know if it's going to be the same as earlier. It says new, but it might be the same that we bred over here. So I can't wait to see what new dragons we're going to discover in nine hours, which will probably be for a video for tomorrow. Here, we're going to go back to the hatchery and we're going to hatch these Aztec dragons. Beautiful. And unfortunately, we're out of space, so let's go into our dragonarium. 
Here we're going to go back to our tree of life and we're going to recall another dragon. Well, since I'm getting so many Aztec dragons, I'm just going to recall an Aztec dragon. We'll make it simple. And we're going to come back over here and we're going to hatch another Aztec dragon. And... Uh, well, I guess it's going to go in the Dragonarium. Okay, even if you put a dragon in the Dragonarium, you can still get a hatch there, but it looks like that dragon didn't quite do it for the quest there. So let's hatch some more dragons. Here, what to do, what to do. I think we have a couple places for the sea dragons, or do we? Um, oh my gosh, and that's my cat. Uh, whoops, sorry, I gotta go, uh, pause. I'm gonna pause this real quick, sorry. So my cat was just meowing for the door. Okay, so a little bit of cat diva this morning. Here, I took that opportunity to go and hatch two electric dragons in the hatchery. So basically, I put two 30-minute dragons and I watched two ads. So now we're able to hatch these electric dragon eggs. Let's check this out. Yes, we just got a hatch symbol. Awesome. So that's looking great. Here, that means we're going to be at four out of five. So we still have to hatch one more to get those flight stamps, but we're doing pretty good here. Here, we're going to go ahead and hatch that second electric dragon and ah, no hatch symbol, but that's okay. We're making good progress here and I know we're going to get those flight stamps. So here when it comes to this video, what are we doing? We've recalled a couple dragons, we're getting a couple orbs. Here we've got those Aztec orbs that are coming through and looking pretty good. When it comes to the Aztec dragons, um, I think I'm gonna summon, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna recall some more of these Aztec dragons. Um, you know, I've been saying, I've been saving some lower level dragons so that when I feed my dragons, it counts towards a quest. So for example, getting flight stamps or another event where we're gonna feed the dragons to get certain rewards. So um, I like having a bunch of strong level dragons, but I also ha I like having a couple of lower level dragons so that we can feed them up and for example, get flight stamps or other cool stuff like that. So here, when it comes to uh, what we're doing today, things are looking pretty good. And I'm wondering, is there anything we can level up here? So like, ooh, for example here, we have a bunch of level two ice habitats. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and level up one of our ice habitats, perfect. So here, we're gonna upgrade this. We have 114 out of 100 tokens. So we're gonna be able to get this ice habitat to level three. So it has a maximum amount of gold of 100,000. Let's do this, awesome. That's gonna take 16 hours. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's in progress and I'm super excited. Yeah, let's keep this going. So here things are looking pretty good. We're also working on our uh, dark habitats right there. And when it comes to habitats, we got the level up to level 36 in this video. So I definitely want to build some new stuff. Uh, I'm looking, are there any new farms? No, let's go to our habitats. Awesome. Here when it comes to habitats, we have two new habitats that we're going to be able to build, like the soul habitat and the primal habitat. And I wanna build myself a primal habitat, oh yeah. So I'm just gonna put that in the corner for now and maybe I'm gonna build a second one also. Let's check this out, do we have enough gold? Ooh, they're probably gonna be more expensive since it's the second one that I make. Aye, okay, so now we're gonna need 2.5 million to get that habitat. That's gonna be a little bit more trickier, let's see. Here, we do have a little bit of gold, but I don't think it's gonna be enough for it in total. Let's go ahead, finish recalling this Aztec dragon. Beautiful, we're making ourselves a little bit of space. Things are looking good. Can we recall any other dragons? Let's see. Um, eh, flame dragon, I kinda wanna keep that one for now. Terror dragon, we have a bunch of those. Here, the sea dragon, I'm just gonna recall that, perfect. Awesome. So recalling that dragon is gonna give us a little bit more space to hatch some dragons and it's already done. Let's go ahead, get the sea dragon out of the way. And I think I wanna recall another Aztec dragon. Let's check this out. So here, we're gonna go ahead, recall another level one Aztec dragon, beautiful. And we're gonna check out the empower section. Here when it comes to empowering, right now our sea dragon has three out of five stars. I'm gonna need to get 560 total of the sea dragon orbs so that we can empower that dragon some more. So I'm not quite yet there, but we're working on it. 
Uh, I'm looking for the Aztec dragon. There it is. So here, if we want to empower the Aztec dragon some more, I'm going to need 200 orbs in total to Aztec uh, to level up my highest level dragon, the Aztec dragon. Right now we have 80 of those orbs, so we're actually not that far off. I think I'm going to recall a couple of these dragons, and we're going to empower that dragon in this video. Yeah. Here when it comes to my farms, of course, I have a little bit of food I can grow. We're going to go ahead and grow those rainbow leaves there, sending tons of love and rainbows and unicorns to everyone. Yeah, let's get this going on. So here we're just going to grow a little bit of food while we wait for that dragon to uh, recall. Beautiful. And uh, one of the questions that I had was, what's the difference between recalling a dragon and selling a dragon? So here... Uh, let's find a level one Aztec. There we go. So here, if we want to sell an Aztec dragon, that we're going to sell it for like a fraction of the price of what it's worth. So I would be getting a thousand gold, but I mean, is it really worth it? Mm, I don't think so. So here, I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to recall that dragon because then we're not getting gold. We're getting orbs. And with those orbs, we're going to be able to empower that dragon. In my opinion, totally worth it. So here, we're going to finish recalling that Aztec dragon, and I think we have two more Aztec dragons that we're going to want to recall. So here, we're going to get that one going, and if we check this out here, oh yeah, that needs two more uh, dragons at level one. Each level one Aztec dragon gives us 40 orbs. So if we recall two more, that'll give us 80 orbs, and we'll have enough orbs to empower the Aztec dragon once again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. So here things are looking pretty good, and when it comes to hatching eggs, I guess we could hatch a couple either flame or terra dragons right now. Let's see if this will give us any progress for those flight stamps. Now, here this can be kind of a counterproductive task, just hatching a bunch of flame dragons. So I've mentioned it before, you gotta do this, you know, lightly. Don't go too wild on it, because I'm investing gold, I'm gonna get orbs, but you know, I could be investing my gold in different things here. So here, we're going to go check out that recall. I think it's almost ready. Yeah, almost ready. Beautiful. And here we can go ahead, finish recalling that Aztec dragon. And we're going to recall one more Aztec dragon. Let's do this. So here we're going to go ahead, recall that dragon there, feeling good about it. And we're going to wait a minute and it's going to be fabulous. Now our flame dragon eggs are ready to hatch. So I'm going to go ahead, take those and we're just going to hatch them. Uh, hopefully wherever they fit. Hopefully we have space is what I mean. Perfect. So we can put that in the Dragonarium and yes, we just got that egg symbol, which means we got those flight stamps. So here I'm going to go ahead, claim those flight stamps and we're going to eat, we're going to be able to keep on progressing for this Magic Runner mini game here. When it comes to the Magic Runner, I would like to get the Magician Dragon, but it's going to be pretty tricky. The Magician Dragon is all the way here at the end. So I'm going to have to get my focus and stay really sharp for all of these runs that we have here. Beautiful. So I think that's about it for today. Um, if ever you have any questions, make sure to comment in the video below. Let me know what your questions are and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Now, I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm not always the best at answering my messages. So it might take two, three, maybe four days, depending on my schedule, but I will get back to you. So be patient, stay tuned, and I'll be answering those questions. Yeah, and keep watching the videos because sometimes it's a really good question. So I answer it in a video just like I've done here. Uh, I had a question about um, breeding the ice and flame dragons. And I had a question about the orbs and whether to sell or recall a dragon. So keep asking me those questions and I love answering them. Yeah, thanks for your patience as well. Here we managed to get 200 of the Aztec dragon orbs, so now we're going to empower that dragon again. It's going to take about three minutes, but I'm ready for it. And when we come back, that dragon will be done being empowered, and we're going to have an even stronger th dragon than we had to start with. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and make sure you hit that thumbs up button for the like if you did enjoy it. I hope to see you again soon. Happy gaming, everybody. Have fun, because that's what it's all about. You want to make sure you're having fun with your gaming. Since I'm taking off right now, I want to make sure I have some dragons in my hatchery, since we have a couple empty spaces. Here, I'm going to go ahead and get that awesome Hypno Dragon, and I'm going to get another dragon. Um, 
When it comes to dragons, I think I'm just going to go with the electric dragon. There we go. So that way it won't take too long because the hypno dragon is going to take 17 hours. My other dragons aren't ready for seven, eight hours over here. So I'm going to make sure I have a spot that's, you know, easy to switch out. Hey, thanks again, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful day sending tons of positive energies out there. Take care, stay safe and have fun. Peace.